this outburst by two justices, by the two justices, is surprising, considering that it is totally unrelated to the raids of their premises, their arrests, and subsequent charges before our courts. Men of that status should not indulge in such diversionary activities in the midst of grave and ominous charges facing them. I would have thought that they would use the time at their disposal to prepare their defenses against the serious charges they are facing. Given their statuses as Supreme Court justices, even in the middle of the adversity confronting them, they should not have engaged in a distraction totally incompatible with the dignity and respect that their high offices attract. In my view, it is demeaning for them to abandon their legitimate defense in order to smear a high official of the Buhari government, which latter they probably consider to be the source of their predicaments. Mere allegations cannot have enough weight to affect the position of such a high official as Amechi. Otherwise, knowing the disposition of Nigerians for putting people down, no office holder will be safe in this country. It is therefore improper and ridiculous to compare the position of the justices in whose houses millions of naira and hundreds and thousands of dollars were recovered to that of Amechi, against whom there's only the mere ipse dixit of the judges, meaning word of mouth. This sudden anti amechi narrative is consistent with the objectives and interests of the chief promoters and funders of judicial corruption during election petitions. These powerful opposition politicians are well known. To be more specific, they are from Rivers and Aqua Ibom states. They are the ones who finance judicial corruptions and brought that great institution, the judiciary, to its knees after the 2015 elections. These allegations are intended to undermine and weaken the Buhari federal government by depriving it of the service, input, ideas, productivity of some of its brightest stars. This is intended to set the stage for charging the government with ineffectiveness and cluelessness once such bright stars have departed. In other words, it is an attempt to reduce the image and perception of this federal government to the low level of their own late and unlamented government. Therefore, the call for Amechi to step down is malicious and vindictive. It should be ignored with complete ignominy. The professor also extracts the role played by the NJC and believes that there is a need to rethink the composition of the National Judicial Council. To a certain extent, they are, they, it's an, it, it is established for routine misconduct. Not the sort of, uh, what, what, what shall I call it, um, volume and, uh, and, and, and in fact, uh, size of corruption that we have now found among some members of our judiciary. People who are taking enough sums of money from politicians, uh, which are enough, in fact, to pay salaries of thousands of Nigerians for many years. So when you get to that stage that you are dealing with something uh, of a very serious disease, it, the NJC was not meant to do that. Their, it's, their, their job really is geared towards routine, uh, not just corruption, misconduct, in a normal situation. What we have is, is not normal. A lot of those operating at the level of NJC should no longer be serving justices. They should be retired justices with clean records. Because we have a situation, we have had a situation in which the accused for corruption and misconduct was the sitting chief justice of Nigeria himself. And he influenced the whole process to the extent that an innocent president of the Court of Appeal was suspended 
and not allowed to return to his seat until he retired. Because the corruption and misconduct of that Chief Justice of Nigeria was in consonance with the corruption of the president and his party in power. So it is better to have a group of people who have nothing at stake anymore, who have nothing to lose, and who are objective. There's too many people who are currently hold, holding positions who are themselves sitting on huge sums of corrupt money, sitting to try and consider others who are being brought for corruption. How would you feel? You know you've committed the same thing. You know the money is somewhere and can be found too in future. Would you not caution yourself about dealing with a fellow traveler in that area? So that's the, that's the problem. <laughs>